Welcome back to On The Shelf Gaming, the only show on the internet that has the Wambulance on speed dial! Wah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, this guy's terrified. Will, will we help him? Leave him. Nah. The Wambulance will get him later. <laughs> Why is that even an option? I don't know. It should just automatically save the guy. Like, is there disadvantage to, like, saving the people? Oh, God, we're going to rescue everybody, get to the final boss, and they'll be, like, human shields. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, God, why did you bring us here, Niasha? What's wrong with you? God, we've only saved three people so far. I know. Well, we literally just made the decision off-screen that we can't off-screen save all these people. <laughs> yeah. So, like... We're gonna put. All, we're gonna just do all of this, and if that is a mistake, and these are the worst episodes of Inuyasha ever, sorry. <laughs> nah, that would never happen. Like, well, we we skip over. We have we have skipped over a lot of shit in terms of just like we, like pretty much the episodes where we're like looking around trying to get to new locations, and it's just walking down roads with uh, random encounters. We skip the fuck out of all that. Like, any time we're, like, running around to play... Like, when we were in the Spider Mansion, we cut out about 40 minutes of just wandering around. And having no idea, no what, idea what to do. <laughs> so we, for, for posterity's sake, for to not waste our time, and to not waste the viewer's time, we cut out a ton of shit. Um, which I, I would hope that, you know, the people at home would understand. I don't know about you... But, like, in episodes of, like, Let's Plays, when there's, like, no progress is made, they're just wandering around back and forth, just making idle chit-chat. Unless the idle chit-chat is really funny. Fucking, damn it. Unless the idle chit-chat is, like, really funny, I start to lose it a little bit. So, I I, I, don't know, I feel like I want to avoid that with our show. That's why we yeah, cut out I, so much shit. I definitely want something to be happening. Right. Um, and especially because it's so frustrating for us sometimes. As we just, like, a couple episodes ago, um, <clears throat> in between episodes, we were just, boom, random encounter, random encounter, random encounter. We could It took us, like, ten full minutes to get through three screens of a forest. Right. Because there were just so many random encounters happening. And if that had been happening on episode... I would have been even more pissed than I already was. Yeah, the episode it. would have just devolved into us fucking ranting and being angry. Right. So it's like, we don't need whatever that is over there, right? Uh, I don't think we can get to it, so I hope not. Uh, we can. We just have to walk through these clouds. Well, those never... The, the clouds don't matter. They do, though. Like, here specifically, I'm pretty sure... Because every time we've, we've gotten into a random encounter, it's been when we're hitting the clouds... Specifically in this area. Well, there you go. There goes yeah. that plan. Now it just isn't that way anymore. I swear I to God, that's how it is every time. Yeah, I don't know if they increase the likelihood or what. Because I would have sworn the way it was explained to us was that's where the random encounters are. If you walk into the clouds, okay. right, you'll get an encounter, and that right. they weren't. It, it didn't seem like they were supposed to be random. Then it, they didn't always happen. Like, okay, well. Sometimes when you're in a cloud, it'll trigger, and sometimes it won't. But then it triggers everywhere, all the time. Yeah. So it's like, I don't the have any clouds don't clue. matter. <laughs> it's like, do, do the clouds make a difference? I'm pretty sure they do, because we're, this is the first, like, non-cloud random encounter we've had, despite the fact that we've run around the castle a shit ton. Right. But, like, I've run into, like, three different clouds, or four different clouds, including the one we were just in, that I, I can think of a fan... And that was the first one that didn't immediately, uh, didn't immediately trigger a battle. Right. So it's like, it's gotta be like, they're more likely in the clouds, but that's still fucking dumb. Yeah, I, I'm not a fan of that. I'm not a fan of it at all. I don't know. I, see, and it's, it sucks. Okay, it's like Pokemon. Uh, cause that's just like the only RPG I have really ever... <laughs> like, thought about critically and consumed right. um, to any extent. Because like, I played, like, Mystery Dungeon games. I didn't like them very much. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon's like, I'm the kind of guy where you slap Pokemon on it, I'm gonna enjoy it. Oh, same. Uh, I hate th I hate games of that style, not to completely derail. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't like them at all. Right. Played through Blue uh, Rescue Team. Fucking great. Love right. it. 100, I love it. Explorers of Time. Fucking great. Anyway. But, like, you know... Like, one of the things that people complain about with newer Pokemon games is you can... There's, like, no random encounters. And, like, there's no... You know, you 
there aren't like patches you know all the pokemon are just on screen now it kind of like takes away the fun of it and it's like that she was insufferable <laughs> I, like every time I would get to like when I was playing Pokemon fucking Platinum, Fuck. every there are so many routes of Pokemon Platinum where you just have to walk through grass. There's no there's no other way to go. And every time I got to a new screen in Pokemon Platinum, I would spend like 30 seconds just looking around. Okay, how do I avoid as much grass as fucking possible? Right. Because I just don't want to deal with it. it and 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 like and people people complain because like oh well, I'd rather do that than have the XP share on. Cause I don't want all my Pokemon to uh, you know get leveled up so easily. Catch what those were, but we got two new moves. Nice. And I'm just like, why is that a problem? I do people like grinding? Uh, like, do hardcore apparently. RPG fans genuinely like grinding as like part of the experience? Oh, there's a guy. Oh, a little boy actually. Oops. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I mean, at least some of them definitely have to, right? Uh, you would think, cause it's it's just like a, a staple mechanic in so many RPGs. And like when, like when so many RPGs like modernize and move away from that system, people complain about it, and it's it's so asinine to me. Not to say that they're they're wrong, because that's one of those things where it's like you can't be wrong about that. We can disagree on it, right? But I can't I can't truthfully say you're wrong for liking grinding. It's just weird. Yeah, I why like battling in RPGs? Progressively, yes. I want to battle the gym leaders in Pokemon. To make progress. Yeah. If I'm in, you know, a dungeon, and that dungeon is, uh, uh, like the radio tower. Right. It's been taken over by Team Rocket. If I'm battling Team Rocket, and I'm making my way towards the end of the dungeon. Right. That's cool. Yeah, because like, you're but, fighting your way through it. You right. Know, that but it's like, when I'm playing Pokemon, and I'm in a cave... Right, and you're just I hate caves and Pokemon. You're just trying to get out of the cave. Right, they make me not want to. They make me want to quit my run when I enter caves because I'm just like, great. Either I look up how to get through so that it, you know, it's quick and easy, painless. relatively painless, or I just bumble around through here running. And I know because people are like, well, you can just get repels, and it's like, well, yeah, but early on in the game, it uses up a lot of your money. Right, and also like. Repels are a band-aid solution? Right. Like, I don't know. It, it's just one of those things. I don't know. I, it's like that. Like, if you're a fan, in the comments, if you're a fan of, like, grinding in video games, and not, like, progressive, like, grinding, but just, like, no, like, the just, the, the slog, going through it, leveling up, looking for drops, if that is, like, something you like doing in video games, explain yourself. <laughs> not even because I'm like you're wrong, but no, yeah, I, I'm just like curious. genuine curiosity. Yeah, absolutely. Because like I, I've always hated it, but like I'm clearly like I mean I'm not alone on that, but I'm in some kind of minority about that. At least among people that like that like genuinely like RPGs, like RPGs. right? Well, I'm like I, I'm like that in in like basically every RPG. Like here, we basically had no choice but to fight over and over. Right. But oh no, yeah, you hate um, fucking grinding. Even the the even the the thought of grinding puts you off immediately in like any circumstance. Oh yeah, and it's like because uh, a while back when on the shelf gaming was not even being considered to be brought back, uh, Sacred and I did uh, some bro locks of uh, fire red and leaf green, and then ruby and sapphire. Right. Um, Which for those who don't know, bro lock uh, is essentially we were linked. So like whatever Pokemon I caught on a route was linked to the Pokemon that he had on the route. And so if it if mine died or his died, we would have to box our own. We'd have to right. get rid of our own Pokemon. Yeah, too. he failed to catch the Pokemon on that route. The other guy's fucked, even if he did catch his. Yeah. Yeah, it it was fucking great. I loved it. Yeah, it was super uh, fun. We should probably do that on the show one of these times. Hell yeah. <laughs> uh, but one of the things that we ran into is like he, you know, we did have to grind. Yeah. Sometimes, like we didn't, gr we didn't go crazy with stuff like that because you can out grind any Nuzlocke. Yes. Um, to make it a, a trivial challenge. Right. And it's like we didn't want to do that, but there were points where it's like, okay, we need to be stronger, or we're just going to wipe. Right. Um. So like, there, there were times, and it, of course, we were playing it um, on uh, my. Game Boy Advance PC uh, add-on. Yeah. Uh, so... You know, we can speed it up. Yeah. Um, 
I like that. That makes it a lot better. You know, it's not crazy. And I'm also... Oh, oh, too far. Oh, wait. No, this is a different room. Is it? Yeah, I don't think we... Oh, no, we did No, that was where the kid was. I was thinking of the room above this. There was another big room that had that uh, that item that we walked through the poisonous cloud. No good. It's locked. It must be the other way then. Probably. Uh, but, like, as a kid, I was way more grinding averse than I am now. Right. Um, and that's really saying something, because I really don't want to have to grind a bunch in games. Right. Uh, but, like, as a kid, I can remember, and I guess it must have been fire red um but i got to is it cycling road that connects to the fifth gym yeah in fuchsia yeah yeah um so i got there and as a kid i i am always i, I will actively not on purpose um but just like it, it, for some reason, it, it always turns out this way. It, any game that requires any amount of strategy, my go-to strategy will somehow be the worst possible strategy. <laughs> yeah. And I won't realize it. Same. Um, because, like, uh, when I was a kid, um, I used to play, like, the, uh, oh, yeah... Oh, hell yeah, he can heal now, too. I wonder how good his is. Because, um, like, I used to play the Yu-Gi-Oh! games on the Game Boy Advance. Mm -hmm. um, and I wanted to, you know, the, the strat in Yu-Gi-Oh! Small decks so that you can get the cards you need as quickly as possible. Right. And certain kinds of monsters are just not very good and never have been. Ritual monsters have always been considered bad. Right. Like fusion monsters and stuff. Unless the fusion monster is super good and has generic materials, they're generally considered to be really bad. Right. I fucking loved ritual monsters as a kid. Right. I was like, oh, these guys are fucking powerhouses. You got your big ass fusion and with a bunch of stars and a big number on the attack. Yeah, and like, I'm like, and I don't have to get a bunch of stuff out on the field beforehand. Right. Um, because it, it, it seemed like it made sense. It's like ritual. If I have the card in my hand, I have the ritual summon card. I can use stuff in my hand to make it. Right. So it's just better. It's like, no, it fucking sucks. It's terrible. Yeah. And I never even considered that. I had 60 card decks of ritual monsters, and they didn't work, and I still didn't put together that it's because they sucked and I was bad at making decks. Yeah, no, clearly the game is um, just hard, and you just gotta keep bashing your head against it. <laughs> it's like I played Advance Wars. Um, the the strat in Advance Wars is to always spend every penny that you have and to buy infantry all the time because infantry spells spam is like one of the biggest keys right i always saved my money for the most expensive units all the time um in fire emblem i used the good guys from the beginning that become shitty at the end right instead of using the guys who are weak at the beginning but are fucking badasses at the end right and in pokemon i used one pokemon the entire time my starter yeah and then and everything else was this there. Yeah, until I started being super into psychic types, in which case I used my starter until I found a psychic on which type. game, Abra or Ralts. Right. And then I switched. And then I used them for the rest of the game. Right. And it's like everything. Because I was like, oh man, you know, I don't want to spend a whole bunch of time grinding up six different Pokemon. It's faster to get one Pokemon. Well, obviously it's not, actually. Right. Like, in the... But that seems obvious, right? It, like, of course, yeah. one Pokemon would take one-sixth the amount of time to level up. Right. Um, and so, like, I, I would always just operate on a single Pokemon. And, yeah, it would be stronger. And you could definitely do that. Pokemon games are not super hard. No. Uh, I beat Gen 1, 2, and 3 numerous times as a kid. Just that following strategy. that strategy. Yeah. It's just like, yeah, but my like starter, I, level 70, everything else, 40. Yeah, but I can specifically remember... Um, as a kid, a time where I got to the south end of Cycling Road, went to the fifth gym to fight Koga, and oh hell yeah! And uh, I went in there and I got fucking wrecked because of course you know I I carry a team of six with me, mm -hmm. 
But the other six are just like, they're the emergency. Yeah. And they're just whatever level they are. So, generally, they're going to get one-shotted. Yeah. They just, you just need a turn where you can fucking heal up your good guy. Right. Um, and, and he was not even close. I forget. At that time, I was still using my starter. Because um, if I had gotten an Aberrant and turned it into a Cadaver, it just destroyed Koga, no problem. Right. Uh, whatever starter I had, he was not cutting it at the level that I, I had him at at that point in time. And I went back to that little patch of grass at the south end of Cycling Road. And I battled... Because at that point in time, I didn't even want to battle trainers. Right. Like, any any battles I could avoid. Like, no, I just want Anything to Anything that stopped your progression right. was the enemy. Um, like, getting gym badges, that is literally progressing. So those battles are okay. But anything else you can avoid, don't battle it unless you just absolutely have to. And I went to that patch of grass, and I battled those three guys. And it takes, like, five fucking minutes to battle those three guys, right. max. And I'm like, man, I can't believe how much grinding I've had to do. <laughs> and I quit playing, and that save never got completed. <laughs> no, dude, I hear you. I was never quite that bad, but I, I fucking hear you. I don't know, grinding just, it's not fun. Even if, even if the game itself is fun, like even if the act of grinding is fun, just knowing that I'm doing a monotonous task ruins it a little for me. Maybe for that just sure. says more about me than the game itself. Probably, I don't know. Um, but man, I just, just grinding and people like it, it's weird. Nah, I, I am absolutely 100% right there with you, bro. <laughs> but, yeah, no, I don't know. I don't know what it is about us that, that causes us to be that way. It just... We're built a little different. Is how it is, yeah. <laughs> That's for sure. We're built a little silly. I don't know. What do but you even with... Because, uh, like... I forget how many years ago, and maybe they still do them, maybe they don't, I don't know, I haven't watched any of their stuff in a long time, but actually I'm pretty sure they don't, because two of the three people that were a part of them aren't even with it anymore, but used to, Team Four Star did their Nuzlocks, mm -hmm. and uh, I remember Are you okay? in one of the first ones they did as a Let's Play, they... Uh, They ask people, you know, do you want us to cut out, like, in between, where we're just, you know, dicking around and grinding? grinding. Or do you want us to, to, like, leave those in as episodes? Um, and people voted, not unanimously by any stretch, um, but overwhelmingly in favor of leaving those episodes in. Yeah, right. I did, and I voted against that. I was like, oh, no, you know, episodes where you make progress... That's what I want to see. ...are, are better... And, and that's not to say that I thought the episodes where they didn't make any progress were bad. Like, uh, Lanny, uh, Grant, and Kieran, like, they had good chemistry and all that. Right. So they still put out good episodes. Right. Um, but it's just like, I don't know. The it, episodes it where they're making progress and, like, new things are happening were just inherently more fun because it gave them more to work with. Right. Yeah, they're just kind of, like, hanging out and being chill while they're trying to grind versus like when you make progress you're doing stuff and you're like engaged god I love those big numbers on that unless you're us right like we're finding these guys I don't feel particularly engaged by any Asha right now right no well yeah that's the thing well and yeah that's the that's you know that we'll always leave that up um you know if you know shout off in the comments what kind of episodes you like? Because, like, when we cut shit out, because we think it'll be boring or just, like, not very good TV, we're still doing it. And we talk the entire time we're doing it. It's not like Eric just oh, does yeah. it silently, <laughs> and I'm just over here twiddling my thumbs on my phone or something. Like, we're still talking. So we could very easily turn all these grinding sessions, for lack of a better word, into episodes, if people want to see that. Oh, yeah, if there was... A there can't be, because I've already erased all the stuff because we didn't need it anymore. Right. But if, theoretically, there was a director's cut of Kong, it would be twice as long. Yeah. At least. Yeah. And it would it would be fully commentated. 
Yeah. E- even all the parts that aren't in episodes. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, that's the thing. Because, like, the only difference between, you know, doing an episode and, you know, doing what we know we're going to cut out, we're still talking. It's just we're a little quieter. Yeah. You know, much. we don't try to keep the conversation afloat as hard. You know, if, you know, there there will be brief moments of just, like, kind of mumbling at each other and then, like, a minute and a half of silence before one of us is like, hey, want to talk about fucking Buffalo? <laughs> yeah. Man, Buffalo, if you, you ever want to sponsor us... We'll fucking do an entire episode of Grinding. We'll just do, like, a four-hour-long episode <laughs> where we make no progress on whatever game we're playing. All we do is run around in circles... And talk about Buffalo. Just reciting the entire Buffalo menu and everything <laughs> we love about it. We'll do it. Hit we will us talk up. about every single item on the menu. Discuss our in-depth opinion. <laughs> Give me free wings. Fuck it, we will do it. DMs are open. I mean, not mine. I'm banned on Twitter. Well, yeah. But Eric's DMs are Shoot open. Shoot me a message. At Suinu. Is this man dead? This man is dead. Yeah, All right. right. That man's dead. I thought we just, like, lucked out and found, like, three guys. No. We found one. Oh, oh we can get through God. that door now. Hell, Hell yeah. yeah. And we'll go through that door next, next time. time. I'm on the shop. Gaming. Gaming.